Hello and welcome to Simply Photo. Today we are going to talk about depth of field. Depth of field is a term used to describe the range from near to far of an image that appears acceptably sharp. Notice the word acceptably. When referring to sharpness there is only one true point of focus. Before and after this point the image gradually goes out of focus. Depth of field varies depending on several attributes but we are going to concentrate on the aperture. I am going to try and show you how it works via simple and crude sketches. Now, depth of field can be calculated mathematically, but how many people have the inclination? Although the more you know about the theory, helps with the practical. But for now, I will concentrate on the basics. If we consider our primary subject to be, say, 10 metres away from the camera, our subject distance, we need to consider what we require to be in focus all or some of the subject, foreground to background. To give two simple examples, when photographing landscapes, one often requires a large range of depth of field, from the foreground to the background. In portraiture, one would generally only want the subject sharp or even just part of the subject. So if one has a fixed subject distance and a fixed focal lens, one would use the aperture to control the depth of field. The aperture is normally inside the lens. One controls the light entering the lens by changing the diameter of the aperture. These are typical f-stops, 1.4 being the largest to f-16 the smallest. But how does this actually change the depth Look of field? Look at simple diagram. I have not drawn the lens to keep it simple, but imagine it is there. This is the aperture at 1.4. The light travels through the lens, which causes the light rays to converge at a point the point of focus. You will notice that either side of the point of focus the rays are close together but do not actually touch. There is a range where the rays are close enough together to be considered sharp. The area between these two lines shows what is considered sharp, the depth of field. Now if I show you a similar diagram with an aperture of f16 which is smaller you will notice the convergence is much narrower, compressed by the smaller aperture. The lines are closer together and for a longer distance close enough together to be acceptedly sharp, thus creating a greater depth of focus. As you can see, the acceptable range of focus is spread, giving the appearance of more of the image from back to front to be focused. If I place this diagram over the top, you can see what would be in the range of acceptable focus, the smaller aperture giving the greater depth of field. I hope this has helped you. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.